In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take different types of orders from the point of sale screen. First, we have to disable restaurant mode, which we were using previously. Tap the drop down menu, go to settings, and then find enable restaurant mode. Now, I'll just quickly disable it. Now that it's been disabled, I'll tap save to server and then tap yes. Now, I'll tap the Abacus logo to take me back to the pause screen. Now that I've disabled restaurant mode, I can manually assign table numbers to orders. To do this, I'll tap table, then enter in my table number and select eat in. At the top of the screen, you can see that I have a table number of 24. Now I can put an order through and send it to the kitchen. Next, I'll show you how to start a takeaway order from the point of sale screen. Just tap table, select takeaway, and then enter the customer details and press done. You can see at the top of the screen that we have a takeaway order with an order number of 48. Now I'll just add an item to the order and send it to the kitchen. Next, I'll show you how to start an order with a buzzer number. Just tap table, enter the buzzer number, and select buzzer. At the top of the screen, you can see that we have an order here with buzzer number 36. Now, I'll just add an item to the order and send it to the kitchen. Lastly, I'll show you how you can start a delivery order. Just tap table, select delivery, and then enter the customer details. John has already been added to the database and most of his information has been pre-filled after I've entered in his first name. Now tap complete and you can see that we have a delivery order here for John Smith. Now I'll just add an item to the order and send it to the kitchen. Now that I've sent these four orders to the kitchen, I can see them in held orders. To get to held orders, tap the drop down menu and then select held orders. Here you can see how long it's been since the order was sent, the order number, the total cost of the order, the time the order was taken, the order type, and any customer information for this order. To load one of these orders and pay them off, just select the order and then navigate down to pay. Here you can take payment from the customer 